Welcome everyone to today's daily visit with God. Uh, this is going to be out of Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 10. And it also has to do with um, parenting, especially fathering, the concept of fathering. So the verse says this, Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. Um, so here's the thing. The Proverbs um, have a lot to do with, um, with uh, uh, a father telling giving his son instruction or a son listening to the instruction of his father and our culture puts less stress on that than did the culture of the ancient jews in their day in the ancient jewish world the instruction of a father was incredibly important uh, and while our culture may um, put less emphasis on that than did biblical or jewish culture i'm sure that god's word still encourages it uh, and our world is in a mess today and a lot of it i think is because of the failure of fathers to influence their sons to do the right thing the passage uh, really i think could um have three different applications. First of all, there'd be the primary one, which is Solomon teaching his son what his dad taught him. A second one would be spiritual, a second application, where where we would listen to the lessons of our Heavenly Father. And then a third one, I think, is um, that of us learning how to listen to our Father, uh, regardless of our age, to respect and to love, to honor and listen to our father. I think it's important to consider that the father, in this case, instructed the son uh, well past what would have been considered the son's childhood years. For, for instance, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob all instructed their boys even after their boys had families. David instructed Solomon when um, he was an adult, where when he was adult enough to lead the nation. And most likely the Proverbs are written by Solomon to a son who is not a child, but um, at least approaching adult years. The, the role of the father in the son's life obviously changes when he becomes an adult. There's no doubt about that. Um, but the father, if the father is godly, and if, he, and if we would bring up multiple generations to live for God, it would be wise for us to learn to cling to the role of the father for generations to come and, and see the father, the grandfather, the great-grandfather, see them as leaders, as influencers in our lives um, as long as we have them to grant influence and to give influence.